Hello and welcome to this quick tutorial on Printix's Home Office Printing feature. During this video we'll focus on the prerequisites, how to set up the tenant with this feature and finally how Printix cleans up Home Office printers. Let's take a look at how we can enable Home Office Printing for a specific group of computers. To enable Home Office Printing, first of all let's talk about the prerequisites. We'll need to have the authentication set to Azure AD. Also, we'll have to synchronize Azure AD groups so we can assign the Home Office printing features to a group of computers. In Azure AD, we simply create a security group and add the according computers to that group. What this will do is it will give us the opportunity to go into the settings, Home Office, and select the group that this feature will then apply to. In our case, we've called it Home Office Printing or Home Office Computers. So I'm just going to find this in our Azure AD and assign it as such. Once we've done this, we've set the first prerequisite for this feature to work as soon as this computer signs into an unknown network, i.e. your Home Office network. Let's take a look at the networks for this tenant. At the moment, we have the Printix HQ defined and we have the Printix Wi-Fi defined. On the Printix Wi-Fi, we actually have two printers with two queues, so this has no impact to the home office usage. This computer currently lives on the Printix HQ network. So let's take a look at what happens when I change the network, emulating I'm now signing into my home office network. To do this, I'll simply go to my VM and change the settings on the network adapter. Now this computer is going to receive a new IP address and it's going to be an unknown network from Printix perspective because this computer hasn't been signed into this network before. Because we've assigned the Home Office Computers group in the settings for this tenant, what's going to happen is Printix client and the service behind it is going to do an SNMP broadcast in this network subnet and try and find printers. If it does so, it's going to install printer queues automatically. We can see that just happened right there. Also note the printer queues have the tenant name in brackets behind the queue name. This indicates these are home office ad hoc printer queues that are only here for the time I'm signed into my home office network. In Printix Administrator, what this looks like is on the networks, we can see there's no change so far until I switch on the filter for network type to include company and home office networks. I could of course only show home office networks, which will show me my computer at home. So this IP gateway with its MAC address, so essentially my router giving me access to the internet, now forms my home office network. On the printers tab, we have the same behavior. If I go to the filters and say network type home office, I'll only see the printers that have been discovered as part of the home office printing feature. We automatically create a printer queue and go through our database to do a driver match. In this case, because this is a Lexmark E460, we're suggesting to use the Lexmark Universal Driver. And that's exactly what's happened. If we take a look at the properties for this print queue, we can see indeed it has chosen that driver. So we are using the native manufacturer driver to send documents to this printer. From here, the end user experience is simply to choose the print queue out of your application like so. We'll do a test. Control P. Here's my printer queue. I could change any kind of preferences, say OK, and print. And you'll hear my printer print. So that was automating the discovery and installation of printer queues based on any printer I find in my network. Of course, this behavior only applies to computers that are part of this group that we defined over here and that we've set in Azure AD. From here, we can, of course, modify the printer queues We'll have to make sure that we are filtering on home office printers as well. We can take the company printers out. 
which will give us the overview on all printer queues that are currently set up in home office environments. If I now go to this printer queue, you'll note that it has been flagged to add automatically, that's why it's been installed over here, and also to remove once we leave this network. We still have all capabilities as usual in determining which driver we would like to use for this printer queue, and you can, if need be, assign a new driver with the usual dialog. Please also note this feature is, of course, documented in our online manual simply by going to the actual screen and then popping out the question mark and clicking on Home Office. You'll be taken straight into the online manual explaining this feature in detail. There is another use case I'd like to highlight, and that is accessing USB connected printers. Let's attach a USB connected device to this VM. I will go ahead and plug in the USB printer now. The USB printer has just been discovered and automatically installed. So that's how Printix automates the installation of any printer found on your private network as soon as the computer has been assigned through an Azure group that is set in the Home Office printing feature. Now what happens when I remove this device from the network? Let's imagine this is a laptop and I shut it down, take it to work and sign in to the corporate Wi-Fi. Let's emulate this by going to the VMware settings and changing the network adapter settings. We've now changed the networks on this computer and you can see that the printer queues disappear straight away. The only one that stays is the USB connected device because it is still connected via USB to this computer. So that's how Printix cleans up network printers by switching networks together with the Home Office printing feature. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next time. Thank you.